Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I want to give a big shout out today to our amazing soul sister Sandra Cole from World Illuminator 11. You'll find her in the featured channels, she's amazing and she's gifted me a beautiful new deck, Divine Masculine Takes Charge. So we're going to be using this deck today to see how your masculine is taking charge of their situation, to lead them to you. I also want to say a big thank you to whomever has sent me this powerful new deck I've got here. This is the English Tarot, okay? It's the English Magic Tarot, really beautiful. And I love this. I mean, look at the card there. I mean, this is kind of the backs of the cards. And I feel it's about reaching out. So I feel this is also a big sign about your twin reaching out to you. Your twin may be, you know, focusing on readings, maybe even doing some cards if they are spiritual in that way. But I feel they are kind of finding more information out about the connection. However that may be, whether it's Googling the word twin flame or Googling your name, maybe checking out your social media to see what you're posting and what you're thinking about. But they're definitely seeking answers in a spiritual way and they're finding the information and they're being given that, just like the squirrel gathers information and they're finding a solution. So the animals today they're giving me is the fox because foxes can be cunning and the masculines can be quite cunning sometimes where, you know, they don't tell you what's going on inside and you know, they're feeling everything and going through everything, but they can mask it very well. They can be very indifferent, so you don't know how they feel or, you know, what they're going through. So the, the fox, they're being very cunning, they're finding a solution, sometimes without you being even being aware of that, you know, if they can't communicate that to you. And the squirrel is the gatherer, gathering information, gathering what's needed, gathering resources and energy to make a change. And the masculines are preparing to make a change. And it's so powerful because I used this deck yesterday and I was, I, I actually got this deck yesterday, but I went on to Snapchat and I shuffled the cards and we had um, a really powerful card coming out. It was the sun. Okay. I don't know where it's gone in here, but it was the sun and I could see there as the masculine moving forward. Okay. We'll see if that one comes out in the reading, but it was, you know, this kind of man in power, regal energy looking at the sun, the sun behind, you know, so a big sign of the feminine's light guiding the masculine home and reminding you that you are their muse and their power and their strength and you're going to be feeling strong today, divine feminine, you know, obviously we've had the Lion's Gate portal and that brought up so much energy, it brought up ascension symptoms, feelings, emotions, it kind of made us all go off balance for a little while and over the last couple of days, you know, yesterday and today, you'll be feeling better within yourself. So if you're going to, you know, if you have been experiencing any physical symptoms, especially like dizziness or a feeling of being off balance or brain fog or headaches or head pressure, you know, or even fear coming out, indigestion. Thank you for giving me that fear coming up there or stomach issues. It's going to be getting better. You know, even my twin, Blue Eyes Tarot George, you know, he had yesterday really bad stomach pain, you know, and it's connected with the solar plexus, it's releasing fear, you know, it's releasing what needs to go to make the changes you're being guided to make, you know, so he was kind of intuitively picking up on the masculine energy, things being released. So you're going to feel better today, more focused, brighter, the sun's out today as well, so it's a real sign about how the feminine is feeling feminine in power, you know, even if you're struggling still, you know, you're still not really understanding it or you're still a bit confused or you're not sure what's going on, you'll be finding today that strength is being given to you from heaven, strength and power and you may not understand where it's coming from. So we're going to use the cards, I've got various cards around the table today, I'm going to see what they guide me to do. So I'm going to kind of just do this off the cuff, this reading. So what's the energy of the connection today? Okay, what's the energy of the connection today? Here we go. I'm in love with my divine feminine. So what I'm feeling with this is, this is your masculine saying to you, I'm in love with you. Okay, I'm in love with you. Now there's a difference between loving someone and being in love with someone. 
And you'll understand that, you know, if you've been in a situation before where you've loved a karmic partner, but you haven't really been in love with them. And your masculine saying to you, I am in love. I am in love with my divine feminine. So he's understanding this more and more. He's in love. That means he's in a relationship with you, whether it's physical or not. Okay, he's in love with you. And I feel this also a big sign for anyone dealing with the karmic energy because if your masculine is with someone else, he's saying to you, I am in love with you, my divine feminine, my empress, my one. You are the one in my heart. I'm loyal to you. And yesterday we got the dog coming out, which is a symbol of loyalty and asking you to trust that your twin will find their way. Why? Because he's in love with you. And I feel this is also about the divine feminine, which is you, falling in love with you. That means loving your life again, giving back to you, nurturing you. Because when we go through separation, we learn to love ourselves. You know, not in a vain way, but in a wow, you're so amazing. Giving yourself credit for how far you've come, for all the things you've achieved, for who you are. You tap in with your spiritual side and your psychic gifts and talents. And you start falling in love with that. You know, falling in love with service and being off service. Falling in love with life. You receive signs and synchronicities that show you the way. And they tap you in with the universe. And sometimes it's so overwhelming. You feel grateful so much. You have tears of gratitude. And you feel bliss for the journey. Yes, you go through your struggles. And we all have good and bad days on this journey. That's why here on Guided by Angels, it's a daily channel. Because you're going to need support someday. Some days you're going to be the support. And you're going to feel on top of the world. And you're going to want to help the world. And other days it may even be hard to get out of bed. To crawl out of bed. You know, you may have to pick yourself out of bed. Because you just think, I can't go on anymore. I've had enough. I can't deal with it. Well, your masculine is saying to you today, I'm in love with you, Divine Feminine. And this is a reminder to you to love yourself. So that's the energy around the connection today. We're going to use the Saints and Angels deck. So what else is happening with the connection today? There we go. Cards on the floor and there's one here. Okay. So the energy around the connection is be brave. Be brave. So the masculines have to be brave to make this decision. The masculines have to be brave to move away from their karmic partner or to change their life. The masculines have to be brave to come out of that cave and that hermit energy and make the choice to reach out to you and there's decisions all around them right now the masculines need to be brave and feminines you have to be brave to get through those bad days those struggles those dark moments so you find bravery through this journey like Joan of Arc becoming the warrior of your life the warrior of love that you are and you are. And that's when Archangel Michael says to you, get up, soldier. Get up, warrior. You can do this. I've got you. You know, you are safe. Heaven's got you. You're not alone. So be brave. And also a wise decision. And this is, again, why I'm feeling the energy of the fox around and the energy of the squirrel. Because the squirrel is gathering all the information to make the right and the wise decision. And the fox is bringing that solution in. You know, answers are coming. So there's a wise decision ahead. And I love that we've got this when September is the month of decisions this year. So there's decisions coming in. So the energy is, I need to make a wise decision. Now, feminines, the wise decision for you today is work on you, okay? To focus on love, gratitude, healing. Maybe meditate, go in nature. That's a wise decision. It's a wise decision when you respond with love instead of reacting in fear. It's a wise decision when you start understanding your truth and you realise you can't force or rush this love. It's a wise decision to give it to the universe and to step out of your own way. That's why I've done a video today on timings because it'll help you to understand more about the timings of your journey and why things happen the way they do. The masculines know that they have to make a decision and it needs to be a wise one. It needs to be the right one. That's why they're taking time because they don't want to mess it up again. They don't want to fail you. They don't want to hurt people. You know, they're not a bad person. 
Even when they've hurt you, it's been for your soul growth and it's been for your mission. So you grow from and evolve from what you've been through. So you can help the world as a light worker to raise consciousness and the power of humanity. So it's a wise decision. And, you know, we've got the owl coming through as well, which is about wisdom and power and seeing things from all points of view. You know, an owl can turn its head all the way around. So you see what's going on behind you, in front of you. You know, it's about seeing things from a whole new perspective. And there's also move coming in, movement. Okay, move, change. So I feel for some of you, this could also be a house move. Or it could be moving a, to a new job or moving careers, relocating. Okay, or, you know, even making changes you're being guided to make within your circle. Moving out of negative or toxic environments or energy. You know, moving out of karmic situations, relationships, anything that needs to go. But I'm also seeing this as movement coming into the connection today. Forward motion change, things happening. Okay, things happening behind the scenes. That your masculine moving towards you. You moving towards the light, towards power. Things happening. And the other night I had a dream where I was in a field and I was surrounded by cows. Okay, and cows are about nurturing energy. You know, if you see a cow, it's about nurturing energy. And I feel this is a divine feminine collective starting to nurture themselves. And obviously I was in this field and all these cows were around me. So the cow energy is connected with nurturing energy. Feminines now learning to love themselves, learning to nurture themselves, to fall in love with their life. And that's what you're doing. So you're moving forward. You're moving towards what you want. This journey is moving. And this is also about moving your body, exercise, yoga, dance, you know, movement, going outdoors. You know, I went for a lovely walk yesterday to move my body and I felt better. So you're going to feel better today to be able to move around your life, which means, you know, you won't be feeling as bad physically. You know, it's like, wow, that headache's gone. Wow, that, you know, nausea's gone. Oh, I feel free because you're feeling much better today. And we've got child, and this is guardian angel. So this is also about connecting with your inner child. You know, you've got the guitar there, play some music, you know. If you are a musician, get on the guitar, have a strum, you know. But you're feeling childlike today because all that kind of stress energy and all those ascension symptoms are starting to lift. So you're feeling better today. And the masculines are too. You know, I feel they are perhaps singing a song to you today, speaking to you in music. So what message are they giving to you today in music? Okay, what, because they're telling you they're in love with you, Divine Feminine. So what, I'm going to write all the cards I'm using today as well in the description below. Okay, instead of me telling you what the decks are. Express your love if you feel guided. Okay, really powerful. If you are feeling ready or guided to tell your twin flame how you are feeling, follow your heart. Let go of the need for response and say how you feel. Don't be afraid to express what's on your mind. So this is what's coming in. The masculines want to express what's on their mind. They're feeling this. I feel they're communicating with you through music. What's on their mind. So before we read the rest of the cards, what songs could they be sharing with you today? What songs could they be sharing with you today? We've got Collide. Wow. Collide. Our hearts collided. You came into my life and you blew my life apart. Everything's changing. There's chaos because we've collided. So it's like, you know, you dropped into each other's lives at the right time for a reason. And you have collided. It's divine magnets. They're being reminded of you everywhere. Everywhere they go, they are reminded of you. And they are letting you know that through song. They are seeking answers about your connection. This is exactly what I'm feeling when I'm tapping in with, you know, the English tarot deck, wherever I've just put that down, okay? That powerful energy, see it, okay? Of reaching out, okay? So they are learning about the connection. It says, your twin flame knows, okay? They have never felt or experienced love like this before. They want to know what it is. And they are trying to find the answers. Now, this song is... I want to know what love is. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Well, you show them by shining your light and being you. And they see that everywhere. They want you to be the one to show them what love truly is. And they are imagining how their life could be with you in it. 
So they visualize the future. Why? Because they're in love with you, Divine Feminine. They are in love with you. And they're having realizations. Now, this number came out yesterday with the door opening. So they're realizing. So the masculines here are seen 11, 11. And if you're seen 11, 11 too, you're being reminded that the door is opening and that they are coming to their own conclusions, that the divine is working behind the scenes to bring you together. This is about them trying to understand and work out what this connection is. Your twin flame is realizing that everything they have ever wanted or needed has been right in front of them the whole time. And that's you. They are understanding that you are their twin flame and seeing 1111. So they are understanding it more and more that you are twin flames. You know, they're starting to realize that you are all they've ever wanted. There's a song, okay? All I've ever wanted. I'm not going to sing it again, okay? but you are all I've ever wanted. You are all I've ever needed. You are the one. And this is what they're realizing more and more. So they're truly in love with you, Divine Feminine, and they are realizing every day what this is. You see their true self, their true colors, and their true soul. So this is a song, True Colors. You see inside of them, and that can make them feel vulnerable and afraid. They get insecure around you because they can't hide things from you for long. Your love scares them, but they love you for being the one thing in their life that's real. Let things unfold naturally and shine your light bright. So you're being reminded to keep shining and they will move closer to you. Move closer. Okay, all these songs coming through. Shine bright and you are safe. So you're being reminded that you are protected that you are safe, that your journey is being sorted out right now. Surrender the struggle. Let go of the past and trust in what will be. So the past is gone. It can't be changed. It can only be accepted. What matters is now. Archangel Michael is watching over you and your journey is protected. Expect to see rainbows at this time. So whether you see them in your real world today or you see them virtually today, a rainbow has been given to you. God never closes a door without firstly opening a window. The way is being made. So the way is being made, Divine Feminine. They are saying, I'm in love with you. The way is being made. Okay, so what else do we need to know about the connection? What do we need to know about the connection? The three of wands. Wow. I love this card. Do you know, this is powerful because it's showing you passion. It's showing you that you are moving towards what you want. And this is both of you. You know, there may be things going on in your head, so there may still be confusion or pressure or worry or outside influences that you need to heal and release, but you are ready to take a chance. And the red is the passion and the fire and the action. We've got the nine of swords, don't give up. Okay, don't give up on this journey because even when it drives you crazy and it makes you act in a crazy way, you know, you know this is real. You're being shown in this card that you have all the things you need to be successful. The armor, you're being given the armor by God to protect yourself, that shield around you so that you don't allow other people or negative influences to get you down. And we've got fortune. This is showing you it's meant to be. You're moving forward, stepping stones. They're showing me the, the feet as like stepping stones to move this journey ahead. So your masculine is saying to you, I am in love with you. I know I make you crazy. I'm sorry I do that to you, but I love you. And we are truly meant to be. And you know that you are protected. I've seen this as a big shield of protection around you, Divine Feminine, keeping you safe. So what's the energy then today around the Divine Feminine? Wow, here we go. I am enough for my Divine Feminine. So you're realizing that you are enough. I am enough for my divine family. You are realizing that you are enough, that it doesn't matter if they're with someone else, they are not you, okay? They are not you. Nobody compares to you. So I feel this as you realizing that you are enough. And when you realize that, you feel at peace, you feel better, you feel calmer, and all the confusion goes away. And your masculine is kind of saying to you, I am enough for you, divine family. I'm working on that right now. I'm working on, am I enough for you? Okay, am I enough for you? Will I be everything you want? Seven of coins. So feminines, this is you in your power, setting your intentions, asking for what you want, being very strong about it, being very firm. 
What do you want to say to your masculine today? I'm terrified of you, okay? So I feel this is sometimes we get terrified because we're afraid they're going to hurt us. We're afraid. This is why we walk on eggshells. I'm terrified of you. You know, nobody's ever made me feel this way before. You know, that's big. And that's a huge realisation too. When you think, wow, anybody else, nobody would get away with what you get away with. And that terrifies me. I find everything about you so pleasurable and irresistible. So your masculine gives you pleasure. That's why you stick around. You know, when they hurt you and cause you pain, you know, if it was a normal relationship, you'd walk away, you'd move on. You'd find someone else, you'd, you know, just leave it alone. But because they give you pleasure, because they are a part of you, you know, this is why we can't move on because you can never move on from your twin. And I miss your sunshine in my life so much. So you're missing them. So I feel these are real messages from the masculine because, you know, the masculine gets terrified by the feminine, you know, by the feelings because you see into their soul. You see their true colours. So the masculine is terrified of the feminine. But the feminine gets terrified of losing the masculine. The feminine gets terrified of, you know, the fact that the masculine gets away with anything. You know, and I feel everything about you so pleasurable and irresistible. So you desire each other, you know, with each other. It's real. It's true. It's natural. And, you know, they miss you as much as you miss that. And you are the sunshine and you feel more sunshine when they are around. But sometimes you also feel the dark clouds because, you know, they need to change. So there's fear there, too. So what's the energy around the masculine today? The energy around the masculine. I am focused, wow. Your masculine is becoming more focused on you and their mission and what they need to do. And I am bringing peace and joy into my life. So he's feeling more at peace with things today. He's bringing that into his life and that's you. So I feel he's saying to you, you are my peace, my joy, my bliss, my harmony. And I'm bringing that into my life. So what's the energy around the masculine today? We've got, wow, the four of swords, reflection, there's that shield again, healing, okay, the working on self, and wow, we've got the fool as well, the new beginning, okay, the new beginning, he's taking steps towards you, and the empress, so he's realizing who you are, you're the empress, the divine feminine, so your masculine is saying to you, I am truly in love with you, I am in love with you, divine feminine, I know now who you are and I'm working out what this connection is. And because of that, I'm bringing in a new beginning. So the masculines are really focused now on this new beginning because they want peace and joy and harmony and love in their life. So I want to do a dark truth. So let me bring in the dark truth. So what dark truth does he want to admit to you today? What does your masculine want to share with you today on this day? I'm numb. When I feel dead inside, your love lights me up and I can breathe again. And that's how you make him feel. Your love, your power, your strength. He's saying, I'm numb and you light me up. So this is reminding you that they're not happy in their karmic life or their karmic situation. They are dealing with it now. They want to free themselves from that. So what else do we need to know? We've got, I am working on becoming financially stable. So the masculines are also making sure they have something to give to you and something to give to your relationship. They don't want to live off you. They don't want, you know, you to live off them. This is about stability. So, you know, they are saying to you, I know you can take care of yourself, but I want to be able to give to you. I want to be able to give this to you. And, you know, you see them for who they truly are. And I feel there's people in their lives that just want them for their lifestyle. Especially, you know, if they are a celebrity or they've got money or, you know, that they've got something that other people need. And you see their true colours. You love them anyway. You'd love them if they came to you like the fool here, you know, with nothing really there. You know, if you're nothing, all, he got, all he's got is like a little kind of, you know, backpack on his back. He hasn't got suitcases or, you know, you take him as he is. And you take him with baggage too. Whatever he comes with, you take him. You know, you're saying whatever, you know, I don't want you for your money. I'm not interested in that. I love you for who you are. Thank you for being you. And he's saying to you, it's coming. It's like he's saying it's all, it's all easy now. Because what they're showing me is, he's, he's walking downhill. Okay, so if you think it's all downhill, 
it's not okay because the angels are saying to you you know it's it's moving up you're moving together but he's saying to you i've done the hardest part i've done the hardest part now i'm realizing that it's smooth sailing it's smoother sailing smoother roads ahead better times ahead so where's this connection going and what can we expect we've got your twin flame is planning how they can spend time with you one to one they imagine sitting next to you being close to you and expressing how they really feel so they want to move towards you divine feminine they want to meet up with you in person or spend time with you online and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about the situation and about the future so take the pressure off you can't force control or put conditions on unconditional love when it's the right time it will happen when you are both ready the universe will move things into place and that's absolutely what's going on so remember today you are loved and safe and the most powerful one is your masculine saying to you i am truly in love with you my divine feminine so trust and keep the faith i hope this helps if you are a member as well i'm going to be doing a charm reading for members today so if you are a member make sure you check that out so have a great day sending you so much love and i'll see you soon